hii manana citizen siwezi siwezi kukubaliana nayo you in one way or the other ina colonize your mind tell me sasa hizi umeenda australia pale kenyata panando ni 10 bob ni ulipe na citizen ni ulipe na citizen so unaongeza 50 bob so hiyo panando utakuwa umeinua 60 bob nenda tena uhudumie umekufa alafu pande system azifanyi kazi you are done you are dead wasudi wamea wamea let me ask by the way for instance mtoi amefukuzwa school fees na kesho ni exams za mock and they are supposed to report in school very early in the morning and then all of a sudden ah uh, systems zimekuama hiyo mm. vile system za gaba ukuama unapata the whole day system iko chini iko chini iko chini mm. so you mean huyu mtoto anafanya exam because school fees are equal for three citizen i think we need to be honest at as a country that kuna vitu zingine even if we are copying from the western people they can't apply in in, in africa mm. and in kenya per se because we are poor this our country we are poor na watu wengi hapo wana depend on hand on mouth like wanatafuta pesa wanakula hawana hizo much savings at utasema at uni tajiri unibombe like akona pesa anaeka no at the end of the day it can't make in, in our country and uh, the last the topic about that ilikuwa ilikuwa ruto outside trips eh jamaa he has over <laughs> over eh uni moving present jamaa ametembea bwana the moving present ruto president the moving president anatembea kwa ndani sisi amekuwa dubai manze i don't know japan honestly mr yeah. president to see kwa you see sometimes you speak and you say oh opposition people are speaking but i'm asking this wako kuna ungua huku watu wanalamika watu wameungua ipakasi huku kumekaa aje manze uwezi kae kwako utulize na hiyo ilikuwa You, know, you see <laughs> do imagine i'm expecting a uh, president kumekuwa na fire tragedy kumekuwa wasichana wamekuwa kiulwa the entire month watu wanakuwa ki complain uh, about high cost of living i'm expecting the president to stay in his country and at least stabilize everything yeah. manze you wake up in the morning and you hear the president is in dubai the president Allah, is in italy amechomoka ah mtalia kwa south africa ah manze amechomoka na sasa hizo me i'm not even problem with him going ingi kwa na safari if the country is stable tungekuwa tunaeleana but look at this nini chance in circumstances that the president is traveling while Kenyans are struggling and Kenyans are crying like sasa hizi kuna watu hii or the report from one wamekosa basari au wamekosa namna ya kwenda shule and then now you are your president is in Dubai on street doesn't make sense uh kwa nini watu wanyona advising hii president wana mu advising hii hata kienda basi si afiche off cameras mwananchi si ene unatoa ya president anaweza travel na tusijue na ita tu majua tujui bana manze umelala njaa alafu na mbona president ako dubai acha nikuuliza swali wewe ukitaka ku advise president mr ruto mkikitunaza na mambo nakwambie mambo ni matatu wewe utakubali mambo ni matatu nakwambie mambo ni matatu unatumwa mbinguni eh wewe utakubali Unaweza mwambie kitu? I mean as mwambia by the way I cannot be intimidated by speaking the truth. Let me just be honest. I will never be intimidated. If speaking the truth will make me die, I let me die. If speaking the truth will make me go to prison, let me go. But at the end of the day I have to tell the president manze the country is not going on well. I am a youth. I speak to youth every day. I communicate to them. I represent the youth. They expect me and my voice so that i can represent them but, so after the president manze ufanyi vizuri traveling when the boss. country is in crisis you're not doing right you cannot shine your boss i am not shining him but i'm telling him the truth you see mzazi babako anaweza va trouser vibaya na uone hapa nyuma ni kama amejipupulia au ndio baba kumwambia dadi umepupu juu unaona akienda hivi ni aibu ni aibu utamwambia dadi angalia hapa nyuma kwa mfuto kuna kitu that is what people are telling when you see people heckling the president they are communicating That's these true. people are communicating it is a way of telling the president that things are not right what do you want kenyans to do unataka kumwambia aje unajua wa kenya kumwambia is the democratic right kumwambia no i'm ex- i'm asking you unataka wa kenya waambie president aje things are not right is for quite if if not heckling yes the, 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 the best way cuz you see There are so many people who are afraid to come out like we usually do as youths 
and come out and speak and call the press and say, oh, our country is not doing this. But there are people who are afraid of telling the president, manze, hapa ni kubaya. Somebody is like, eh, hey, nitambia the president, nishikwe nye kuindani. But now those people are those people who are heckling and telling him, Mr. President, things are not right. Sasa tukiongea ima na foreign trips, eh? Ebu, ebu, ongea as we conclude. Ah, ima na foreign trips, eh? Nisi mm -hmm. jaona kitu imesaidia wa Kenya. Mm -hmm. Juruto, anatuambia naenda kutafutia makazi wapi, abroad. Mm -hmm. Ini itangwa brain train, eh? Unatoa maprofesa hapa, unawapeleka Dubai. Mira ajangani ma, ni, ni kazi gani professional ziko Saudi Arabia? Ni mbo ni mbo. Honestly, ni mbo. Mbo. You take somebody with a degree? Eh, ana kama sasa amekopa loan, amepata grade yake mzuri, ame amesoma a very good profession then in his idea inchi in manufacturing in managing the state to become stable and then all of a sudden you tell that person that niko na kazi ya mjengo iko Saudi Arabia. Ah, you wezi. I love you citizen, you citizen only of Qatar. Hmm? Kama una pesa, una jipanga. Uno naona. As we conclude, what can you tell our MPs? Because now they have resumed back to parliament. The bills are there to be discussed. Kuna housing, levy, na kuna nini, the e-citizen. What do you tell your MP? Amone za takakuwa bia wabunge wote aji. Because generally when I speak, I speak about the, the MPs wa Kenya mzima. I don't like addressing my, my MP. Ah, ila kitu naweza kuambia wa mbunge wetu ni kitu moja. Pale bungeni mpeleko na wa Kenya. Mwende mtete wa Kenya. Usiangalie tubo zenyu. Mwende the moment mwaza kuangalia tubo yako, uta kumbuka kama ni kwa pakando. True. So, manana i citizen ni kitu wa kwanza munafaa mwieke chini. Yani, ikuwe pronounced dead on a life. True. Ima neno ya Osing Levy. Brenda, mi mali nimetoka ni kakuja hapa, nimetoka, si jatoka wa kichaka, nimetoka kwa nyumba. Kitu wa kwanza nataka kwanza ni shibe. Niambia uta nijengea. Sijui wa mbunge wetu, sijui za zingini. Ni, yani, aja nisiongea vibaya. Lakini, wa mbunge wengi, wa meka tubo zao mbele. Wataka kuonesha mkubwa tunafanya kazi. Lakini, at the end of the day, iyo oslevi itafinyidia mimi na wewe. Na wengine yao. Wanya uwaoni hapa. So, mi ataka kuambia wa mbunge. Kama mna discuss issues, mkua kama wa mchomba. Anambia present the reality. Reality. Siku mshuga kota ti oh because you have papers and you maybe you feel sa zingine oh the president. Alafu kuna kitu nilisikia na mtu wakisema siti watu wa, wa, wa jui ni mbaya but somebody anaogopa atambia president this is wrong upate kama kona property imekuja imegongwa. And that's why I'm telling the youths now who are like me who have nothing to lose. Come out and speak. Because now as we have nothing to lose. Sir, so, this is the best moment ya kuambia ruto kweni. Na hawa MP wetu, unajua kupale kuna vibaraka. Mdo wataka kilo wakati ya ingema kote. And the Sleku is who are given nomination on certain favors. Na mdo wanafikiria atakanyanga watu fichwa. So what I'm saying, for me my message to the MPs when you go to parliament, and uh, today, particularly today when the motions are being tabled, ensure that uh, you represent the will of the people, the people who elected you, the people who gave you that position. Ensure that Every word you make in that parliament, it represents your people. That person, that Mama Mboko is sleeping outside, apo uh, apo kwa kwa kibanda mali ali kuchagua mnyala nja. Represent him or la. Unanielewa. Represent that boda boda guy that who voted for you ali amka subuya kaku vote akaku trust na vote apo. Just do that. Ensure that that person who may represent. Uh, to the to the point that when it comes to 2027, ana doubt ana kumbisha. Because let me tell you, our MPs. Kenyans are watching and we are very keen. Because in Miona Wengina, to Anna Semanisi to know Arabia Dina. When you are little rock, you support a finance bill. You can impose taxes for Kenya, says in Ramedu Aya, to Likosia. Because says you are Kenyans, you are Dinga. And uh, let your, our leaders to be very careful because each generation yet to see what one ambi will be to see to Najiski and Amanino, Namaskio Zetu, not to the interpret here. So whatever you do, we are writing, we are taking notes. Actually, me kitabu yangu na kuangali mi andika makosa. Hapa ni mejeza makosa ya agashago na ruto. I have written them down. When he makes a mistake, I, 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 I write down. So that, akini danganya tena, I review. Nikona reviews hapa na uliza, eh, hey, mokoro. Siku fulani suulisa maivi na hivi. You see? Hii ni generation yetu na counter. Vitu, tunangalia ni nini naendelea kwenchi yetu. And we are very king. 
Because at the end of the day, we the youth, we need a, a, a country, we are very hardworking by the way. I had the daughter of the president, Akisema, we are lazy, we are not lazy. We only lack opportunities. So I am saying that uh, we as Kenyans and as youths, that we are very keen, so that when our MPs goes to the parliament, kindly make sure that you represent the will of the people. The people of Kenya at large. Ata kamwe ni MP na ukugarisa. Make sure you speak to represent that person who is in Kibra, that person who is in Madari. So that you can save our country. Sasa, mimi, do tumalizie hiyo, mimi sina shida na MP wa Azimio. Wala nikona shida na wao, na wa Kenya Kwanza. Kitu wa Kwanza, ima na nakoso mlimi. MP wa Kenya Kwanza, ni worshipping. I was telling the MPs of Azimio because they are the only sober people. <laughs> Kenya Kwanza, MPs are not sober. They are worshipping their boss. So they will do according to what their boss tells them. If their boss tells them, pass the housing bill, tick. Akiambua eka is citizen, ata tangalia ata jirani yake. In fact, let me tell you, some of the MPs who are even supporting that is citizen, their families are illiterate. That's they don't know even to write. Mtu wa metoka uko utrukana, ajui kuandika, anakuja na mwambia oh, Mr. President, do this and this. Ajali yata familia yake. So I'm telling you, they are not doing that because they want, they are doing because they are worshipping and protecting their interests. So what we are addressing the MPs, we are addressing the Azimio MPs, because they are sober. Yeah, so that when they go to the parliament, they represent the will of the people. Yeah. As always, Baba has always told you, to, Raila has always been telling us that represent the will of the people, not your stomachs. So that is what we were passing the, the message to Azimio MPs. Not the other ones. Ah, the other ones. See what, uh, <laughs> who now, who do you address in, in Kenya Kwanza? They are not sober. Nigiangalia mduwa huko kwetu kama kawaii. Naona huu mtu. Unachoka. Anachoka. Juu sasa huu mtu wana yaya kwa mamba ya steamer. Na kuwa watu wanatumia bato candles. Hata si candles, koroboi. Na huu mtu wana represent nini ya energy. Thank you, thank you Kenyans. This is the show, the Brenda Kangai show. It has ended. Kindly comment, like, share. And be watching each and every day. We'll be having a new episode about how our country is going. If you'd like to join the show, kindly send me a DM and I will invite you. No matter the tribe, no matter the color, no matter the gender, we are here to discuss issues that are affecting our country. Thank you so much. <laughs>